Hi friends and welcome to our mystical YouTube hop which is hosted by my friend Sandra Bose and yours truly. We have a wonderful lineup of crafters uh, and everyone is holding a giveaway and I highly encourage you to visit each and every single person in the lineup to be inspired and uh, sign yourself up for some giveaways as well. For my project I created a traveler's notebook using papers by Graphic 45 and let me show you real quick the paper pads that I've used for this traveler's notebook. I use papers from the 8x8 fairy dust collection and I've also used a couple of sheets from the 12 by 12 Cafe Parisian collection and if you are interested in getting yourself some of these I will be leaving uh, links to those two paper pads in the description area below. Now before I get into my fairy themed traveler's notebook let me go ahead and go over uh, my giveaway and the rules. So uh, what I'm going to be giving away in this YouTube hop are three traveler's notebooks. This one one is prize number one. This one is prize number two. And this one is prize number three. These are all handmade traveler's notebooks and they will go to three lucky winners. Now for the giveaway rules you have to be 18 years or older to participate in our hop giveaways. You also have to be a visible subscriber to the everyone in the hop lineup. Watch the videos in the hop lineup and comment on all the videos in the hop lineup and of course thumbs up are appreciated. Now just so that y'all know we do double check and triple check that those people who we choose who we choose as the winners have a by the hop rules. Okay, and um, now in addition to your basic, to the basic hop rules that I have given you, I know that not everybody is into traveler's notebooks as much as I am, and I've got a ton of these. <laughs> <laughs> so I've decided to give some away. So uh, yeah, if you are interested, um, whoops, <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. As I was saying, I know that in order to be eligible to win the prizes in the other channels, you do have to leave a comment on this video as well. So if you are interested in uh, the Traveler's Notebook giveaway that I'm doing in this video, in your comment section below, go ahead and enter the phrase Traveler's Notebook. That way, if you are chosen and I see the phrase Traveler's Notebook, I know that you are interested in winning one of these Traveler's Notebooks. Now, if you are not interested in winning a Traveler's Notebook from my hot video, remember that you still have to place a comment in this video. Just don't write Traveler's Notebook if you don't want to win a Traveler's Notebook. And I will be holding the giveaway. Uh, I will pull three winners at random and it's going to be winner number one, winner number two, and winner number three. <laughs> okay. And I, um, I don't remember if I said earlier, but I will show you these two Traveler's Notebooks at the end of the video. So let me go ahead and show you this one. This is my fairy themed traveler's notebook and I tell you I had a ton of fun creating this. Now for this traveler's notebook I did use a die. Let me show you real quick the die. It's a very large die. It's a journal dice from Sizzix by Eileen Hall and if you do not have this die and you love creating traveler's notebooks and you love having them just as much as I do, I highly recommend that you get yourself one of these dies and if you can't find it at your, at your local crafting retailer, I'll go ahead and leave you a link in the description area below. Okay, so we have this gorgeous sparkling bow. I just love it. I love it. I love it. And this traveler's notebook opens up like so. And I did get me a laminating machine to make this 
uh, specific traveler's notebook for one lucky subscriber. And so it is laminated. And upon opening it, you come across some pockets, pocket sheets. And this traveler's notebook is going to have several different tags and things for you to play with and decorate your traveler's notebook with. So let me just pull out some of these tags. Oh, and I also made you a bookmark. Look at that. I love it. Don't you love it? This bookmark was created using a spellbind die by Becca Feacon and I will go ahead and link you to this die in the description area below as well and we have more tags now this and this is not a obviously a this is not a uh, made from graphic 45 papers but they do complement this traveler's notebook very well I think so I went ahead and used it to keep it interesting and let's see it is decorated like so look at that i love it love it love it love it and upon opening it you also get this ephemera card here and another tag and over here you could just add pictures if you like and here is more ephemera that i glued onto this pocket and it is also decorated using um, dies from Spellbinders. And then it opens like so. And here's more room for you to decorate. And here's more ephemera. And this is a die from Spellbinders as well. And on this pocket, you get more tags and things and and photo mats and so forth and so on for you to use and uh, decorate your traveler's notebook with. This one says smile. That's a picture photo mat. And here's another picture photo mat and more tags using the graphic 45 paper and more ephemera. And in this pocket, you have more tags that I die cut for you. And here is another die cut using a die from Spellbinders as well. And yes, I will be linking you to this die in the description area below. And you have more ephemera cards. Love, love, love. And here's more sheets for you to decorate or add pictures to. And using acetate, a 12 by 12 acetate sheet, I cut it down to size and I made a dashboard for you. And these are just sticky notes to go on your dashboard. And this insert is by, I believe it's, um, yeah, Webster's Pages. And I just love the graphic, uh, the graphic paper, or graph paper, graphic paper. I have graphic 45 on my mind. <laughs> And so, yeah, you have the graph paper here. It makes it a whole lot easier to write than just uh, blank sheets, I think. So uh, you're getting one of these by Webster's Pages, and this is the other half of the acetate sheet. And here is um, two more inserts that I made, and they're not perfect, I tell you that, but I tried my best. And here you have more ephemera cards from Graphic 45, and I made you this bow. I know this sparkly bow. I love the sparkly with some bling for your um, traveler's notebook. So let me put that there. And this is the insert that I made using the Parisian paper. And here's another folder that I made for you, and it is also decorated using dies from Spellbinders and some ephemera cards from Graphic 45. Isn't this paper gorgeous? I love it. Love it. It's so beautiful. And here you go. Another frame from Spellbinders. And another insert, and here is the back to that. And so you get all these uh, ephemera cards and tags and cutouts and bookmarks are going to go in your uh, in the first prize which is this traveler's notebook right here so let me close this back up just like so i just love the way this one turned out it's so beautiful it's so beautiful okay so this is prize number one to one lucky winner 
and let's move on to show you prize number two this one I made a video about this and I tell you it, it took me forever it was so difficult to make this and by the way I also made a chunky charm a while back so you're getting this traveler's notebook with the chunky charm included yay look at it it's so pretty <laughs> So yeah, I made a video about this. If you like, I can go ahead and leave you the link to this video in the description area below and also right up there. But yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> so this one was made from scratch. Uh, just I did my best with the measuring and the cutting and the gluing and everything. And I um, embellished it with a few store-bought items and some dies from Spellbinders. And over here you do have the, um, whatchamacallit, inserts. I believe they're from Michael's or, nope, Webster's Pages. Yeah, because I do order my inserts from Webster's Pages. And um, this is not stapled on here. I just put this like so, so that way um, you could reuse this part over here with a different insert. And here's the back of the shaker. I just love this. Look, it's a shaker. Yay. <laughs> And here is another insert. I do believe this is also a Webster's Pages. Nope, this is not a Webster's Pages insert. This one was probably purchased at Michael's. And here is another insert. And this is also a uh, Michael's insert. And this has a sort of a calendar or planner type thing. And it's not dated, so you could use it any year and so forth. So this is prize number two to a second winner. And for prize number three. Now for this one, I used that Eileen Hull die that I was showing you and I tell you it is so much easier. And I was experimenting with this traveler's notebook actually. Oops. Did you hear that big boom? We have thunder and everything going on out there. So I made this one out of chipboard. Yes, I made it out of chipboard. And uh, I, like I said, I was just experimenting and it's made out of chipboard and I also cut an acetate cover. So if you could see right here, this is acetate. I don't know why my laptop is acting so funny. So anyways, it's Oh, uh, closes like this. Oh, yes. And I also made this for you. You are going to get this charm with this traveler's notebook. And this is prize, uh, the third prize or prize number three, however you want to word it. And so it's made out of chipboard, as you can see, and you get one, two, and three inserts. This is a Michaels insert. This is a Webster's Pages in insert, I believe. Yep, it's a Webster's Pages insert. And this one is also a Webster's Pages insert. So yeah, this one is made totally out of chipboard. So yeah, <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed my video and uh, go ahead and check out the links in the description area below that show you the lineup and uh yeah happy hopping thank you all so much for stopping by bye now